New details are emerging in the investigation into the FEMA trailers set up in the devastating aftermath of Hurricane Katrina and the potential toxic threats they may pose to the displaced residents of the Gulf Coast living in them. Two and a half years after the storm, 25,000 people are still housed in the trailers. But in recent weeks, the safety of these units has become a major issue. And a recent study done by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention shows formaldehyde levels inside the trailers are on average about five times higher than what most people are exposed to in modern homes. A potential risk because formaldehyde is believed to be a carcinogen that can cause breathing problems. FEMA says it's trying to get people out of the trailers as quickly as possible. We are here to provide resources to folks that want to move out immediately or uh, give them a, a person to talk to, a caseworker to talk to, for them to move on to the next stage in their recovery. But New Orleans Mayor Ray Negan says although he believes the situation is urgent, he does not think moving residents to apartments and hotels is the answer. Negan says it could create a second displacement of New Orleans citizens. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.